Hi everyone, it's Cliff. And so, I did a really great thing last night. I got the Neural Compute Stick 2 from Intel working locally on my HP ZBook right here. And so I want to show you this really quick. So we open up here, the command line, and then we CD into the OpenVINO toolkit demo. Then I run this uh, Python app here. But on the end of this, I have dash myriad because that's the neural compute stick to. So we're going to use that as the computer vision processing unit. So when I do this, um, see we can deploy the machine learning model locally and run it, but I can also use this compute stick. Now what's great about this compute stick is it has four teraflops of uh, compute. So this is as powerful as uh, PlayStation basically. So let me show you this. When I do this, what we're doing is with the Intel distribution of OpenVINO toolkit, we also have Edge AI Suite. And this provides a deep learning model optimizer an inference engine, pre-trained models, and remote monitoring, monitoring with a friendly GUI. We can also use, like I'm doing here, Python-based API to quickly import existing CAFE, TensorFlow, Apache, MXNet, and Onyx trained models. And right here we're using a trained model uh, that we brought down from Intel, and Intel has a lot of free trained models. It takes a long time to train a model, 10 hours to days on very expensive graphics processing units. And uh, basically, there's the result. So what it, this did was there was a file there in the image file called demo car, and that was the input. So that brought into the machine learning, and then the machine, uh, through the model, looked at the image and then it returned the top 10 results of the probability of what the image was and the image was basically a blue BMW so what this did with is that it's showing that it believes the computer believes that it's inferred that it's a sports car so it believes that that image is a sports car and this is done all on the edge without any cloud processing so uh, that's really incredible. Now this is even better because I have this security camera right here. So we're gonna run this real quick and let me show you this. And so this is so much faster right here because we're running the Intel Neural Compute Stick because this is a vision processing unit, a VPU. And uh, it basically allows you to speed up the neural network processing. So we're doing all this, and uh, it's really cool to see the output of all this. Yeah. So right there's the output. So what this did was... We brought in video image. You can bring in video images and it inferred multiple uh, things in this video. It inferred that there's a car there, that the car's black, and then it read the license plate. And it can also read the license plate in different languages and translate the license plate. So it's doing uh, inference from multiple machine learning pre-trained models. So I have the ability to connect multiple pre-trained models, a model that can uh, discover a car, a, a model that can read a, a license plate, a numerical 
uh, characters, a model that can see different colors, and then in the Python app that I create and deploy to a computer like this or to the edge, uh, then basically in real time with the video camera rolling or requiring images through the camera to the edge computer, say a Raspberry Pi that's remote, it's a little small ham computer with the neural compute stick to attached, you can do this real-time inference. And so you could set up a people counter. Uh, you can do a lot of things, a real lot of things. It's pretty incredible all the things that you can really do with this. But then you can uh, output this all say to Node Server, Node.js, and uh, you can pull data out in real time uh, to do alerts uh, for security and all sorts of purposes. So I'm very excited that I won the Intel uh, scholarship for OpenVINO and AI on the Edge. And I actually finished the course before it started. <laughs> so this course started uh, yesterday, but I got the materials for the course on last Friday night. And so the course is uh, six modules, basically. Uh, two main pieces and then the second piece has most of the material but I actually went through and finished the entire course over the weekend. I have until March of 2020 to finish the course but I finished everything. So last night I wanted to really get everything running locally because with the scholarship course you get to go into a lab and do everything on the cloud and I'm also getting set up with the Intel uh, one API, which is the cloud API, basically, so I can put apps, deploy apps into the Intel cloud, and they give you uh, a half a year of free cloud um, service, so that's really incredible. I can't wait to get that in a couple days. But what's really great is that I have the scholarship, and I've really finished the course four months, or three, four month, two, three months ahead of time, so I don't have to until March really be done with the course, but we're in a very active Slack channel, private Slack channel, and so uh, i am become a leader in the Slack channel, and I'm going to be mentoring and mentoring uh, the 700 students to help them so they can do things like this and get OpenVINO running locally on a Windows 10 and also getting the neural compute stick going. It's a very complicated process, lots of... Uh, different dependencies that need to be added. I had to add Python, I had to add CMake, um, and a few other things. And then it's a little tricky, but I got it all working. So that was really important. Back in uh, around March of 2019, Intel came to LA. They had a wonderful full day uh, training session and they gave me this neural compute stick. So uh, I was wanting to use it for a while, um, but it is a little complicated of a process to get all this going. And so last night I got everything going, so I'm very excited about that. So that's really great. And if you have any questions on machine learning, so basically I can go online and I can get deep learning pre-trained models. Uh, that do many things, object detection, classification, computer vision models, all that, I can pull that down and then I can uh, basically make a Python app where I can uh, run the inference engine and the inference on the pre-trained models and uh, basically do this offline. See, the thing is, you have to go up and, uh, you know, you take a picture and then it goes up to Google Cloud and then it does the processing and then it comes back to you. But this can be done all on the device, so there's no need to go up onto the cloud. And then with the neural compute stick, it adds all that speed of the, uh, quickens up the processing time and optimizes it all. So this is Cliff Baldridge. Make sure to share this video. Com uh, computer machine learning is really going to be a huge topic and I hope you send some friends to connect. Thanks a lot.